So this religious solidarity is good to see for a number of reasons, but it's also a little bit concerning. All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on other platforms. Link in the description box. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so this is just a, this is gonna be a quick video. Um, Vince Dow, he shared this on Twitter. Go follow him, go follow me on Twitter. Um, I see no problems with this. Neoconservatives spread the lie for decades that Islam was the big threat to the West when our real enemy has already existed within. Okay, here's the problem though. Um, it's not true to say that neoconservatives spread the lie for decades that Islam was the big threat to the West. Um, <clears throat> Islam was the big threat to the West, okay? Uh, and to say that it's it wasn't, despite I understand kind of like what he's trying to say is like it's, you know, neocons who are warmongers and stuff like that. That's a little bit ignorant of what was what what's been going on for the last 20 years and and like I said, you know, maybe we'll cover that in another video. I don't want this video to be too long. But Islam does have some some issues. Now, I don't want us to reinterpret history because we have a huge contingent of reformed Muslims here in the West, right? Or even in some cases the Taliban seems to be <laughs> to be moving in a direction that is unexpected, right? Don't, that shouldn't, again, don't reinterpret history because of that, all right? Islam, generally speaking, there are, there are doctrinal issues with Islam still, okay? And so, yeah, just want to make that point. But anyway, let's get into the, uh, because I'm, as a Canadian... Okay, hold on. I'm down, guy. Yeah. We stand together as the Canadian people, as the Muslim and the Christian, to protect our children. From them, from that. Yes. We don't need that. Or our children. Leave our kids alone. 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 We stand to okay, so look I, again pretty good to see I, I think it's amazing to see like people who you know Especially with the history that there is you know seeing different like, you know religious factions who have been warring in one way or another for Pretty much all time um, To see kind of the solidarity there. I think is really good. I think that's great and I think it also helps it does help continue that that influence into like modern modernizing and reforming Islam more generally. Okay. And, and so, and, and I agree wholeheartedly with the message, right? I, I think the big thing is with the LGBT is like, I've been very clear. I think, you know, if you're part of the LGBT community, live your life, you should have the same rights as everybody else. I don't care. And I don't think anybody should care. The problem is, is when, the, the community started to push its way into schools and started to go after people's children. And in fact, admitting that this is what it was trying to do, that it was going after people's children. And every step of the way, okay, down this slippery slope, you've seen people on the left who have said, Oh no, that's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. No, we're just trying to get. We're just trying to be treated as equals. We're trying to. And every step of the way, they keep it keeps going further and further and further down. And then they, they keep the goalpost keeps getting moved, right? And so now we're here, right? And I feel like things are kind of starting to come to a head. Um, my issue with this, though, the thing that worries me is, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, I do not want to trade one form of authoritarianism for another, right? I don't want to trade, you know, I don't want us to roll back and go to some time period, like prior to 2016, where gays couldn't get married, right? Of course they should be allowed to. And if you believe in the ideals of America, then you believe that they should be allowed to because we shouldn't have a justice system that affects certain groups of people differently. So that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the pendulum swinging the other way and uh, people who should have the same rights as everybody else not having those rights anymore. That's what I'm worried about. However, like I said, stop going after people's kids, right? But I think, again, there's a way that we can move forward where we can stop the ideology from infecting schools and, and we can stop the ideology from, you know, trying to make people's children the agents of the state while 
but doing it, 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 it through like a libertarian mindset, right? But anyway, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I said, there's some good, there's some bad, you know, there's some things I'm worried about here, but overall, uh, I think this is great. So, yeah, if you disagree with anything I've said, please let me know why, and take care.